No one ever expects these types of things to happen, but it is important to know what to do during these situations. Waco Police hosting its first active shooter training event ever for the public tonight. Teachers and parents are using that training ahead of the upcoming school year. 25 News reporter Angela Lamparski is there. My fear as a parent, of course, is for my kids. When I'm not with them, I can't protect them. These are events Destiny Stead hopes her kids never have to face in real life. It's really important for me that they are aware of what they need to do uh, as far as if these types of scenarios do happen. Stead and her two kids, part of a crowd of more than 100, learning critical safety measures during Tuesday night's active shooter response training. Staying calm, having a plan, acting quickly, just some of the tips people like Lisa Piles are taking back to the workplace. Well, I didn't realize that we really needed the offices numbered. You know, I didn't, you don't think about that. It said, oh, we're hiding in Joe's office, but nobody knows where that is. Crace training is originally a Texas State University program. Now officers are able to share it with the public. This is something that we do together. It takes all of us to kind of spot something to educate and to know what to expect and how to better prepare ourselves. So, I mean, this is a this is a great turnout. People of all ages, of all backgrounds, eager to learn what to do if they're ever faced with an active shooter. Waco PD clearing up a lot of misconceptions. I was always under the assumption of like hiding or playing dead as a first response type of situation, but I now know that running and getting away as soon as possible is critical. More the public can be aware of how to act in a situation like this, the more lives that can be saved. This is the first time Waco PD is hosting a Grace training at this scale and open to everyone, but there are already more on the way. In Waco, Andrew Lamparski, 25 News. If you missed today's training, there's another one scheduled for Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Waco Convention Center. The trainings are free and open to the public.